I'd like to give a discourse on something fascinating that we've discovered in prime numbers. And this section is called prime pairs. And it's something that I found from a colleague of mine. I've been on email with a, a colleague. Her name is Azra Wind. Azra Wind has spent her last decade studying what we call the number line. And when we talk about the number line, we're just looking from one, two, three, all the way up to 53. So she's calling this investigation into prime pairs. She's calling it the geometric quantitization of space time. It's a very cosmic title, but really what we're doing is very, very simple. We're looking at the number line. You can start from here, zero, one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, but we're gonna stop at 53 here. So I just wanna show you that there's three center points on the number line from one to 53. I'm, I'm gonna highlight um, the number nine, that's one center point. The next center point is 30, and then the next center point is 50. And upon those three center points, I'm gonna show you what we call prime pairs. So I'll just grab my white pen. So we're gonna start, we start from here, which is zero, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So upon number nine, I'm gonna join a prime pair. So. I'm going to join a rainbow arc from, from number seven. This is from number seven to 11. And what's the sum of seven and 11? The sum of seven and 11 is 18. And it also, so let's find another pair that also adds up to 18. So, so here's the prime number five, and here's the prime number 13. And you can see that the sum of five and 13 is also 18. So it, so it works out that the prime pairs, like seven and 11, five and 13, is double their central number because the central number was nine. And when we double nine, we get 18. And it works out that these pairs are double the central point. And this is um, nothing new. This has been discovered by mathematicians. It's the basic number line. But Azra Wynn, she, she develops this further on to get this, um, reference to atomic structure. Okay, the next center point is here, number 30. So at number 30, we've got four, we're gonna, we drew two rainbow arcs here, we're gonna do another four arcs. So we're gonna join 13 to 47. So from 13, oh, well, so around number 30, I'm gonna show you, um, we'll do 23. So there's 23 and 37. So 23 here, and 37 there, I'm gonna join an arc. So, and what's the sum of 23 plus 37? It's 60, which is double. Remember that these prime pairs are double their central cell. So double 30 is 60. So let's find another pair that also adds up to 60. So it works out to be, we'll look at 19 and 41. So I join a, a beautiful rainbow arc from 19 to 41, we've done that. There's another pair that adds up to 60, is 17 and 43. So it's a little bit close to it, but it's coming around to there. And there's a, is there another pair? There's a final pair, 13 and 47 is another prime pair that arcs all the way back to the end of the last rainbow. So we're almost done. So you can almost see that nature is obeying order and symmetry here. And we'll just conclude this number line. We'll, we'll go to the next center point here, 30 and 50. At 50 here, let's look for a prime pair that must be double 50. So we know the double 50 is 100. Is there a prime pair that adds up to 100? And we can see that 47 and 53 add up to 100. So there we have it. We have, um, an exploration into the simple number line because in all of the beginnings of mathematics we must always start consecutively which means from one to two to three to four and we just looked for certain um, pairs of prime numbers that added up to double the number on the number line so this is a beginning point to show that amid, amidst the chaos there is inherent 
and highly intelligent order. Mathematics is a universal language that connects us to a higher intelligence.